Puck possession, so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Colorado's won the face-off. Snaps it onto the net, stopped by the goaltender. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. The Blues have it now. Tosses it to Tarasenko. Slides the puck over to Schwartz. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Here's the official call. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. St. Louis is set to go back to work on the power play. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on. He scores! And that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Kadri's won the draw here in the open ice. This one, fantastic save! Bennington's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Scores! Oh, what a one-timer to bury it! Man, the goalie's gonna look at his teammates and say, is anybody gonna cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. Here in the late goings of the period, St. Louis really applying the pressure offensively up by three. Colorado's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. And it's a quick pass to Saad. And down he goes as the puck goes free. The Blues will play it in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Saad. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Down here in the game, you've got to make something happen. They're forcing it a bit. Into the attacking area from the left side. And he regains control of the puck. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Blocker save. Hammers the shot. There's another stop. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Well, we'll get another look here as we see this shot is deflected and it forces the goalie into a much more difficult save. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. The Avs win it. Puck picked up by Donskoy. Moves it to Jost. And they fail to go tape to tape. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Quick feed to Donskoy. The Avs will play it against the boards. Centered out in front. Can't connect. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. Here's a chance out front. Denies up with the block and what a stop by Grubauer. Now a quick pass to Thomas. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Denies him. Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Taken by Landeskog. Trying to get back on the attack now. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. McKinnon's got it in the defensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. Wrist shot from the slot, blocked in traffic. Well, there's the end of the first period of play. A blowout on the ice, but I'll tell you what, from this broadcast booth vantage point, I'm still having fun. I know Ferraro's still having a good time down at ice level as well.
A portion of tonight's proceeds will fund a children's playroom at City Hospital, providing a safe, fun environment for kids visiting long-term care patients. Like As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Set to get underway here in the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. Quick pass to McKinnon. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Takes the feed. Shen's got it along the boards. Puck dumped in. The Avs have it behind the cage. Rocked him in the open ice. Looks to make a play over to Landeskog. Here's a short pass to Graves. Stopped by the goaltender. Save made by the goalie. Bennington's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. Moves it quickly over to Shen. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Feeds it down low. And he sends it across to Krug. Unable to reach that one. Trying to gain a step. Here he is in the open ice on the breakaway. Great save. Oh, I thought he was going to beat him, but the goalie comes up large. Bennington's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. Lots of time left in this period. The Blues have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. On the one-timer, and he gets in the lane to block that. St. Louis has the puck. The Blues moving in to his teammate, and he puts that one aside with ease. And that's blocked. Slides the puck down low. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Move to the middle. Stones him in front. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Now, I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Feeds it on over to Johnson. Big play inside the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Gerard. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Here's a shot, puts it in, and it's a two-goal game. Just keep chipping away at the thing. It's such a big hill to climb, but now they're down only by two. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's not going to catch up to this one, James. He's looking behind the net where the puck is. Everybody else forgets about the, what's in front of the net. That's the dangerous player. Colorado still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now. A little bit better, and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. Puck scooped up by Scandella, and now he moves it to Bozak. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Puck grabbed by Cole. Moves it to Donskoy. St. Louis has it near the wall. Dishes it to Bertuzzo. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Quick pass to Donskoy. On the attack along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Jost. Takes a shot. Oh, what a slick stop by Bennington. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. It's a two-on-one. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Puts it on net. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The Avs have been handed two minutes for hooking. 
Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Every once in a while, you get a full moon and a great power play. They're having it tonight. Everything is going their way. Tonight's him in front. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. St. Louis has possession of it now. The Avalanche have it on the attack. And they score shorthanded. You go into this penalty trying to keep the game level. Now you get a bonus, that shorthanded goal. The goalie's probably got to stop this, but I don't think he's set, James. That turnover didn't give him much time to get set in the net. The Avalanche have once again made this a hockey game. They're on the hunt now, James. They've cut this lead in half. Now they want to push forward, see if they can equal this up by the end of the period. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Puck clears the zone. Dunn's got control of it now behind the cage. Drives it to the crease. Denies that opportunity. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Colorado's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And a souvenir for one lucky fan will bring us to a face-off on the ice. The setters will glide into the dot. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Uses the force on that hit. And we've got a two-on-one. Big save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. And that goes wide. On their heels, trying to clear. And a big defensive play as they'll clear the zone on the penalty kill. No mistake there. That puck had to go down the ice. It's down off the glass. St. Louis comes up empty-handed on the man advantage, but they also gave up a shorthanded marker. Well, that doesn't go according to plan. The power play's done, and they've given up a shorty. Those are always deflating. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. The Blues working around near the back end. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Oh, what a save. That gives a shot of adrenaline to his team, turning aside the breakaway. Moves it on over to Thomas. And he slides it quickly to Tarasenko. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Bozak's got it along the wing. What a steal in his own end. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Quick feed to McKinnon. Move to the middle. Scores. Gabriel Landeskog. Man, these burn the coaching staff. When they see a player get open in the high slot, the first thing they're going to look for is who's supposed to be standing near him. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. Barbashev's one possession. Quick pass to Bortuzzo. Takes the pass. Quick stop by Grubauer. Moves right to the middle. Here's a shot. Misses the net completely. James, I'm a golfer. He's in the slot. The net is directly in front of him. That's a shake. Centering pass. And that's broken up. Now he takes it over the line. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Right in the slot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Made the stop on the play. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Grubauer's been taking dangerous chances and throwing them to the curb all 
all night. Here's another one. The centermen glide into position. Nice job tying up his opponent. Gains the zone through center. Hangs onto the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. St. Louis gains the zone. The Blues have it in the offensive end. And he easily stops that one. Back at the point, he set it up. Taken along the wall by O'Reilly. The Abs are in transition. And he loses control of the puck. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Here they are on the attack. Couldn't make that one happen. The Abs move the puck in the defensive zone. Calvert's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Donskoy. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Dunn's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets a stick into his feet. Down he goes. Another chance here on the man advantage. They've zipped the puck around pretty nicely on their previous power plays, and they've been rewarded for their fine work. The key is to stay sharp. Don't think it's just going to happen for you. Oh, he got all of that with the blocker by Grubauer. Here's a chance right in the slot. Puck picked up by O'Reilly, and a strong effort on that play. The Avs have it against the wall. Keeps hold of the puck. Trying to get it out of their own end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Shot in front. Routine glove stop by Grubauer. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Past the midway mark of the frame. We are all tied up in this one. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Puck slid down the ice. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. And now he angles it across to Sanford. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. The Avalanche have the puck shorthanded. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. Thomas is going to serve a pair in the box for holding. I got a laugh here. The player says, what are you looking at to the official? And he's like, you holding him. Putting the grab and clutch and grab on that one. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. This is the time, James, you get your skilled guys into the game more frequently. Four on four is open ice. It's danger if you have skill. And the team with the most skill is probably going to be the best. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Blues take possession here in the open ice. Picked up along the wall by Bortuzzo. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. Sends the pass over. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Handles the puck. Skates to the crease. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Made that stop. Sharp reaction save. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Right up the gut, here they go. In all alone! And he comes up with a big stop on the breakaway. Almost like the shooter waited and waited and the opening never came. The abs have been penalized, holding the call. He's not going to like the call, but he's got a fistful of sweater and you're going to have to pay for it. You can't take it home with you. They'll play some four on four. Even a little different, even if there's just one player missing on each team. Defensive responsibilities are different. There's different attack angles. You've got to communicate here on the four on four. The Blues penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Slides it on over to Schwartz. Carries it in. Chaps the puck away. Moves it to Schwartz. That pass doesn't go. Tries to get it out of the zone. 
across the blue line, and they'll get that much-needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired. Now you can get a fresh group on the ice. Here's a shot. He tips it. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Late goings of this period. It's all tied up. Thomas has won the faceoff. Quick feed to Tarasenko. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. O'Reilly's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Answered the call on that play. Stays with it. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Grubauer. Smothered that in close chance. The Blues have it behind the net. Penalty expires. Both teams now back to even strength. And we are still tied. Really love the effort by the penalty killers on that one. Well, somehow they worked their way through that last power play. The penalty killers get the job done. It's not been a very smooth night for them. Feeds the puck to Kadri. The Avs take it across the blue line. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Saad. Taken by Pareko. Quick pass to Shen. Centering pass! And we got a leader as he tucks it into the net! These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. St. Louis takes the lead here late in period number two. A really well-played game so far, but now that they've got the lead by one, and the end of the period is in sight. They can start thinking about racing this into the third period up by one. Works it across to Saad. The Avs will play from the defensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Denied by the goaltender. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Denies him with the save. Whistle blown as the puck is directed out into the crowd and a souvenir for some lucky fan tonight. Pretty good work on the two-on-one. The defenseman gives the goalie the shooter, and he makes a save. Here in the late going of the frame, the Blues are looking to build on this one-goal lead. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Here's a short pass to Landeskog. Slides the puck over. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Swats it out of midair. Quick shot. Oh, comes up with a stop. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Stars of tomorrow today. Check out page 21 of the program or our website for profiles on farm team members on the verge of making it to the big league. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. 
It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Avs are losing, and it's really no surprise. As hard as they've worked, they haven't had their hands on the puck very much, and as a result, no offense. Lots of time left in this period. St. Louis leads it 4-3. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Nice poke check. And he slides it quickly to Tarasenko. They've got numbers. Schwartz scoops up that pass. He's dangerous in this zone. He's already got the go-ahead marker. Denied that one. Dead center. Excellent save. Grubauer's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. St. Louis wanted to create more offense coming into this one, and they've done just that, leading early in the third. The Blues win the faceoff. Musa quickly over to Perron. Excellent stick work on the play. And they send it right back to him. Puck dumped in, and they'll complete a line change. Slides it to O'Reilly. St. Louis plays it along the boards. Solid check to slow him down. Slides the puck to Burakovsky. And now he tries to get it across to Saad. Strong defensive effort. Scooped up along the wall by Perron. Strong defensive effort. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Here they come. Right to the middle. And that one's blocked. The Avs move it ahead. Moves the puck. Gets in front of it. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Picked up along the boards by Comper. And he's ridden off the puck. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Puck scooped up by Bozak. Nice pass. Down the right side and into the zone. Great defensive stick work on the play. Sends a pass over. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Taken along the wall by Fulk. He carries the puck up along the wing. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Colorado's across the blue line. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gerard. And that goes off a player in front. Folks been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. The Avs are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. Yeah, you know what? That's a trip for sure. He got a stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. Another chance here on the man advantage. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. Moves it to Calvert. Puck clear from the defensive end. The Blues have it behind the cage. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Delayed penalty coming up here. There goes the whistle. No extra attacker able to get there in time. Taves is getting two minutes for holding. He's going to see this on the big board once he sits down. He'll see this as a penalty. They'll have a lot of time to work with this five on three. Pretty lengthy five on three here, and you'd like to attack and get one early so you have a chance for multiple goals. Blocker saved by Grubauer, and the puck's kicked free. The Blues play it near the point. Puts it on goal with the stop. Grubauer's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. I love making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. The Blues have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. 
The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The officials blow the play dead as the puck drops onto the bench. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Fans have been treated to a fun one tonight. Lots of offense. It's 4-3. St. Louis wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Nothing doing on that. Quick feed to Sanford. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Blues win it. Puts it up front. Move to the middle. Quick pass to Tarasenko. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. St. Louis hasn't had very good luck tonight, James. They're in the lead, but they ring another one off the post. Man, I'm out of fingers to count. Maybe you should take your shoes off and count on your toes how many times they've hit the post. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Denied by the goaltender. Grubauer's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. This is so frustrating. You make a good shot, you beat the goaltender, and you don't get rewarded. It hits too much of the post and stays out. Thomas wins it in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Pareko. Puck grabbed by Bozak. Pass right on the doorstep. Moves it quickly over to Bozak. He was locked in there. Takes the feed. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. The penalty kill gets the job done. At times, it looks like it's a little leaky. Tonight, it's just been average at best. Here's a blast. Just slide to the net. Not really close with that. He got lots on it, but nowhere near the net. Moves it to Thomas. And now it's grabbed by Gerard. And it's a quick pass to Landeskog. Cutting to the front of the net. St. Louis gains a hold of it. With some open space at center. St. Louis plays it against the boards. No one home on that play. Manages to hang on. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And he handles the cross-ice pass. Receives the pass. Right on the doorstep. Made the stop on the play. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Can't get it to go. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Blues have it from their own end. Takes the feed from the left side. In all alone on the breakaway. Big time save. Advantage goalie on this one. Sometimes the goalie takes the advantage by keeping really still. Don't make the first move. He did it perfectly. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. St. Louis has about a half a period to go here as they lead it in this third period. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Colorado's moving it up the ice. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Look out, a two-on-one with the stop. Great reflexes, another save. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Grabs control of it at the point. Quick feed down low. St. Louis has it against the half wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And sends it just out of reach. Big time save by Bennington. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Here in the back half of this period, this one has been a good back and forth contest. We're sitting with a 4-3 hockey game. Puck picked up by Scantella. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. That pass goes a little sideways. Picked up along the wall by Bortuzzo. The Avs get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Taken by O'Reilly. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. 
Takes the feed. Takes the pass from the left wing. Now a quick pass to Graves. And he slides it quickly to Jost. Right in front of the net. And they can't convert on the play. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. And that one's broken up. The Avs will play the puck from behind the net. Denies him on the one-timer. Tries to get it over to Donskoy. Quick feed to Comper. And there's the save. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Donskoy. That's off a stick. Grabbed along the board by Comper. Puck scooped up by Perron. Moves it to Schwartz. Takes the pass. Quick shot, and that one's stopped. He scores! It's good to be greedy. You get one, you chase that next one. Really put your foot down on the opponent. So nice, they snipe twice. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Blues are up by a pair now here late in this third period. What's the strategy now, Ray? I would say the most important thing is do not turn the puck over in the middle of the ice. When you get to the red line, make sure it's going forward. Slides it across to Tarasenko. Scooped up along the wall by Shen. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. We'll get a face-off, and some lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. More than half the frame has been played here. The Blues now lead by two. Shen's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. The Blues have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Colorado's won the draw in the neutral zone. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Centering pass! Scores! Well, well, well. Now they're back into the game here, only down by one. They have the opportunity to tie this up. Now the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Avs have closed the gap here in the back half of the third. Still time to go, but now they've given themselves a fighting chance. McKinnon's won it. And that pass goes awry. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Time of the goal, 14 minutes, 44 seconds. The setters will glide into the dot. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. Couldn't complete the play. Colorado's got it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Landeskog. What a blocker stop at point blank range by Bennington. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. And makes the save. Pareko's lugging the puck. Maintains possession. That's a good play. Chips it into the offensive zone. Now he can get after it. Try and run some time off the clock here. This is where you want to play defense. And he slides it quickly to Landeskog. Directs it on over to Thomas. Rocks him. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The Blues have been called for hooking. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. The Avs send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, you hope they're ready for this opportunity, James, as it shows up. 
as they're trailing by one. Now they get a man advantage and a chance to tie this game up. And manages to clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Just get it across the line. From point blank, and that's a paddling from the goaltender. Bennington's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. In the final moments of this period, St. Louis holding on to a one-goal lead. It's 5-4. What a fun game tonight. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. St. Louis has had more shots on goal tonight, and as a result, they lead it late in the third period. Scoops up the puck off the draw. And that one fired right into the bench. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Kadri's won the draw. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Bennington. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Stepping out of the crease now to play the puck. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Makes the save. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. The Avs going to work on offense. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Tremendous stop by Bennington. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. That'll do it for the man advantage. Phenomenal penalty kill performance on that one. Well, that's a missed opportunity, isn't it? A chance to tie. They don't cash in, and now we're back to five on five. The Blues get a hold of it. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Less than 60 seconds to play in this tight one. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Pareko. Moves it to Schwartz. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Colorado's in now. Smart defensive play there. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Colorado's got it from behind the net. Feeds it over to Jost. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Quick feed to play. Wide open net. Way too much congestion blocks that. Colorado's looking to break out. And he feeds it down to Burakovsky. And he regains control of the puck. Fires to the empty net. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. A commanding 3-0 series lead on the heels of that victory, but the toughest one is always the hardest to win, isn't it? Well, maybe so. I mean, I was with the Islanders. We were down 3-0 to the Rangers. They should have ended the series then, because we have no chance in Game 4, and the Rangers won it. If you're the better team, you're just the better team. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for hanging out with us in short playoff hockey. I love it.